Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing an upper body workout to sculpt, tone and strengthen the biceps, triceps, shoulders, get them really popping, looking good, feeling good. I don't know why I'm flexing like that, I'm sorry. Okay, basically you don't need any equipment, it's gonna be great, you can follow along and do it right here, right now with me and I will magic into a voiceover to talk you through the right technique because technique is really important when it comes to getting the most out of your workouts. If you like these kind of videos, please let me know because um, I'm trying to make loads more videos and yeah, you might want to subscribe if you want, give the video a thumbs up and join the fam. Leave me a comment letting me know what kind of videos you want to see next and how you found the workout, whether it was intense or just right or even a little bit easy because I can step it up if it is. If you, if you really want to go there, I can step it up. And without further ado, let's get straight into the workout. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's get into today's workout. Starting with the first move, walk out to press up with a single leg lift. Ready and go. So we're walking out, lowering the body down as we lift one leg, then walking back towards the feet. So when you're doing this movement, um, I want you to make sure that you're keeping good form. So you'll feel a stretch in the back of the hamstrings and the calves as you reach towards your tiptoes and then walking out into the plank position so that your core is engaged and your body is in something of a straight line from shoulder to hip to knee to ankle. And then you lower the body down so that your nose is just hovering above the mat as you lift one leg if you can. Uh, if you do need to come down onto your knees for the push-up, that is absolutely fine. You're still getting in a really good workout, getting stronger with every rep and rest for 15 seconds. Well done. And then the next exercise that we're going to do will be the shoulder press. So really working the shoulders and the upper body here. Ready, go. So you wanna lower the body down and push back up. Lower down, push back up. So your um, legs are fairly straight uh, and you've just walked. Imagine you're in the plank position, then you walk your feet up. Um, so you get like a 90 degree-ish bend at the hip joint. And then you're lowering the body down so the head lowers down towards the ground and then you push back up nice and powerfully. Really controlling this movement, squeezing the shoulders, Pushing away from the floor powerfully. Staying balanced, you're doing so well. And relax, great job. The next up, we are doing some tricep dips. So lowering the body down, pushing back up. If you wanna make these a wee bit harder, then you can actually um, straighten your legs out instead and go. So if you straighten your legs out, then you're carrying more weight of your body. Um, otherwise, if you bring your feet under your hips, then you're carrying a bit less weight. So somewhere in between is good for me. Um, but either way, you're lowering the body down, getting full depth before you push back up. So intentionally squeezing with that mind to muscle connection, breathing through getting those triceps stronger and stronger. And relax, great job, doing really well. New move a cat coming to say hi. <laughs> coming down onto the mat for the next one. So we're doing some seal press ups. So your lower body stays on the ground, hands underneath the shoulders and go. You're pushing the body up and away from the mat, really squeezing the muscles in the upper back, squeezing as you push away from the floor. Imagine you're trying to push the ground away in fact. You're literally trying to push the ground further down. That is how strong and intentional you wanna be with this. And you're coming up into that seal position, feeling a nice stretch in the front of the body before you lower back down with control. You're doing really well, keep going. Ooh, look at the way my outfit matches the vase. That's cute, that's for free. You are welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> keep going, you're doing so well. And it matches my scrunchie, goodness me. I was on it that day. And relax, great job. 
Next movement that we'll do will be some push-ups. So lowering the body down towards the ground before pushing back up. Again, you can bend at the knees for this if you prefer, or you can do them against the wall wherever you're at. Ready and go. So hands beneath shoulders, squeezing the core. Uh, imagine that there's a string connected to your shoulder and it can pass through the hips, through the knees, to the ankles. That is the kind of good posture that you want to keep in the body as you do this workout. So we're lowering down the whole body so that the nose hovers just above the ground before we push back up. It's really tempting with this to kind of drop your hips down towards the mat and almost like be thrusting against the mat. But that's not what we want to do. It's all about that control in the upper body. Uh, so you really want to lower down with control before pushing back up elbows pointing out just slightly being really strong and relax excellent job smashed it then we're going to do some reverse snow angels so really working the muscles of the upper back here so lying on the mat face towards the mat and go So lifting the upper body up off the mat, make sure you're in a comfortable position, you have enough space for the arms to move. Um, and you wanna just reach the arms in front before pulling them back and squeezing them in towards the side of the body behind you. When you do this, I want you to get that intentional mind to muscle connection. So squeeze the lats, squeeze the shoulder blades together, press those arms in towards the side of the body as you lift the upper body, keep it raised up off the mat making those snow angels you're doing really well you'll feel it in your glutes as well a bit so you might find that your glutes are a bit contracted that's okay but the muscles that i want you to intentionally squeeze are those of the upper back smashed it great job then we've got some single arm press ups so coming down onto the side uh, we're gonna use the one arm to push the body up off the mat are you ready and go so placing one arm in front of the body, I then want you to cross the other arm across your chest so that it's just chilling. It's like it just hanging on for the ride, okay? The only muscle in your body that I want you to be intentionally contracting right now is that arm. So that arm that's in front of you, the, the one that's on the floor, really push the body up off the mat while letting the rest of the body go like jelly. So this is not a side crunch, it is just that arm that is pushing so strongly against the mat that the upper body lifts up. So you're really feeling this in the triceps. You're doing really well, keep going. It's not that pretty, but that's okay. You're still getting a nice effective workout. And rest well done. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ready? And go. So again, finding that comfortable position. The active arm crosses in front of the body, palm flat against the mat as you press up, pushing the upper body up off the mat. Keep going, you're doing so well. Be strong with this, intentional, you're getting stronger with every rep. Excellent job, keep going. And rest, smashed it, well done. Then we're coming into the plank position on our front, um, the high plank position, and we're doing some scapular push-ups, so some scapular press. So we're really working the muscles of the upper body here and go. So what I want you to do is to push away from the mat so you can feel that stretch in the upper back and then lower back down before pushing away again so we're really just using the muscles of the upper back here the core is engaged in that good position i'm not trying to overly arch my back i'm really just trying to push my push my chest away from the mat what did you say your name was? so there's no bend in the arms here that movement is coming from the shoulders, from the back. Excellent job, well done. 
the next step we're staying in this plank position twisting out to either side squeezing the shoulder blades together on each rotation and go so high plank open arm rotations high plank open arm rotations I don't know why I said that's so weird so you're opening up the arms really squeezing the shoulder blades together as you do so keeping that good form keeping that control rotating through that plank position so the core is engaged as you squeeze the shoulder blades together on either side you're really feeling the weight of your body um, in the arms as you do this as well especially after everything else that you've just done so keep going if you find you've got a bit of pressure in your wrist you can come down onto your forearms you're doing so well nearly there and rest well done excellent job you can stretch it out in child's pose <laughs> you absolutely smashed it you completed the workout you've done so so well give a little flex to see your gains don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and leave me a comment letting me know how you found it and what workout you want to see next i will see you soon love you so much Bye.